So this is a short video um, and I'm going to be looking at Colchester which is uh, just on the edge of Essex and, and Suffolk. Um, and as we zoom in on, on this map you'll see uh, my little flags uh, where I've got star forts up in uh, Felixstowe um, and along the coast there. But I've got nothing for Colchester and I have looked at this area but I looked at this uh, a while ago and um, just there wasn't much to see so this is the open topography map um, on topographical maps dash or topographic dash maps dot com and this is zooming in here into Colchester and we can see sort of almost the streets on this um, and just to give you an idea and I'm just going to overlay the topographical information which is basically gives you a height uh, this is available on this system on this website worldwide and basically here anything that's uh, light green to red yellow red um, if we look at Paul Cook's work um, he's basically saying that this is effectively man-made so and and I'm inclined to believe it um, the anything above sea level basically is man-made and so looking at it on the LiDAR system uh, we see we've got a lot of blue area now um, around the area and so we've just got the valley down uh, in Colchester through Colchester and so the reason why I'm going to look at Colchester today on this video and I will be coming back to this and it will be forming a part of a lot bigger video um, was because I looked at the short uh, uh, I was looking at Pontefract and I found a siege map of Pontefract but then in my Google search I found well Colchester siege map popped up and this is it and as you can see we've got Colchester in the middle with the uh, city walls and interestingly enough though We've got this like outer wall, which they're saying is a siege wall, with the uh, the waters on the wrong side. It's the the wall is effectively attacking Colchester, and then we've got these little forts dotted round, and they did intrigue me. Um, now, I believe that these star forts. Are, at least the the ones that I'm looking at, such as Berwick upon Tweed, we're looking somewhere between, and I can't date this precisely at this moment, but I'm, I'm saying the between 6,000 and 2,000, maybe even up to 1,000 years old. So, um, and so when Paul's looking at his geopolymer works and and the and the sandstone ridges. I'm saying they're older than that um, and when I looked at the designer coastline my short video designer coastline and I had a few comments back on that um, saying people couldn't see it see what I was saying and it looked nothing like it and I think basically uh, you're forgetting that these structures are probably 20,000 years old so this designer coastline where Britain becomes Britannia is 20,000 years old. In 20,000 years, you're going to get a lot of erosion and a lot of alterations. When you go and you buy a property, you put your stamp on it, don't you? If so, if you think of it as a jaw garden, you're going to do a bit of landscaping. And there's going to be another video coming up shortly. Well, hopefully I'll get this out this week. Um, on the further landscaping of Britannia. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, 
and I have to thank Darren for the information he sent me on that one. Um, so going back to the siege map here of uh, Colchester, we've got some forts marked on here. Now these forts, they don't exist anywhere, but I believe the star forts that I'm looking at are built on top of previous structures that Paul's kind of looking at. So these sandstone ridges. So I'm expecting to see these forts on um, high ground. And so I've traced around these forts and surprising, I was surprised actually at how accurate these drawings were really that I, I was expecting this to be very um a rough drawn drawing but these actually are pretty accurate um and so i took this outline that i did on the siege map and i put it onto the uh, lidar and just as it fades in here and as you can see we've got these star forts are on higher ground, as I suspected. Colchester actually sits in the valley, in the on the low ground. Um, but these forts are all sitting on, on high ground, on high hills. And I believe they're... This, as I say, is using the dimensions on the, um, on the siege map. And the positioning on the siege map on the siege map and i think once i, I try to adjust slightly but i think it is pretty accurate so i'm going to overlay this now on the uh, topographical map here and again you can see i just adjusted it slightly and then if we uh, add the height to it you can see that these forts are generally Apart from the couple in the middle there, they're on the higher ground. They are sat. You don't build your house on sand. <laughs> you build it on sandstone, but not on the sand. So you, you take the high ground, the solid ground, but we're building on the buildings of the past. And I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to let you have a quick look at these, zoomed in, and I think you'd be, you know, I think fairly I'm going to say I'm going <laughs> to put my neck on the line as I always do I'm going to say these positions are within the <laughs> how close how close um within I would say size proportion and location I'm going to say they're within 50 yards, these walls, these objects, these dimensions on this, on these maps that I'm showing you up in now in close up, I'm going to say, yeah, I think within 50 yards of these positions, you will find evidence of these forts and they were all just simply lifted off the siege map the only thing i have done is i've just adjusted the orientation probably i probably nudged it maybe two three degrees just to line it up and then i took the proportion used the wall the city wall colchester city wall so it's how accurate I've, I've got that proportion but I think there um the the, the green stood fort there um I think that does demonstrate it's on the higher hill there's a church right in the middle of it as well oh <laughs> what more could you really want I think that is it might be slightly larger. I don't know whether these proportions are accurate on the on the siege map, but the fact that that fort hit 
Greenstead hit exactly in the right location when I put the city walls to where they are. Um, as I say, this isn't 100% accurate, but I think it's pretty close. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you know any more siege maps that got interesting shapes on, um, let me, tell me, tell me and let me see. But as I say, this is all going to lead back into um, the video that I did uh, showing Pontefract Castle and the designer coastlines and it's still on track with the rest of my videos and not at all off topic and I hope you enjoyed this video please do like subscribe and share this video and I hope to bring you some more videos very very soon thanks for watching I'm making these videos to change the way you think because almost everything you have been taught was designed to program you to stop thinking critically and accept everything you are told as truth without question.